children and welcome to Wednesday's writing lesson. Today, first of all, I'd like you to have a go at going through our text map that we introduced yesterday. Have a good go at going through it all with your actions. You might need to do it one or two times until you get really good at it. It's important that we do this every day for the next couple of weeks until we know it really well and it will really help us with our writing. Um, next, Miss Oliver's going to uh, introduce our two spellings for today. So at the beginning of every writing lesson we always practice our spellings and you should know these two spellings quite well already because we've practiced them before. So the first spelling I would like you to practice in your writing book is first. And you can use your sounds to sound this one out. So if I model how I would do it on the board. So. Uh, and you could even add your sound buttons, first, first. And then you could practice writing that again and again. And you can choose how many times you want to practice writing that, as long as it's more than three. And then your second spelling, then. You can sound that out again, then. Then. And practice that one again, please. Thank you. So children, when we're writing a set of instructions, we need them to be as clear and precise as possible. Um, we've, um, you don't really need to have too much, other, too much of other information in it. So adjectives should only be used when necessary in instruction writing. With your grown up now, I'd like you to just have a look and see which adjectives we could cross out of this sentence to make our instructions even clearer. Would you like me to read it to you, Ms. Oh, David, brilliant. and then you could work out which adjectives you could maybe take out. Pick up the beautiful blue or red or orange toothbrush and put some delicious, fabulous, minty toothpaste onto your pretty brush. Do you know, I really don't think we need all of that in there. I think we need to start with a bossy verb, which would be pick. Pick up, pick up the toothbrush. Do we need beautiful? No, I don't think so. Let's cross out beautiful. Do we need blue? No, 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 no. No, or red, or orange. We just need to pick up the toothbrush and put the toothpaste on. So, you know, put some delicious. Oh, yes. Have, yeah, pick up the toothbrush and put some ah, toothpaste delicious. onto your brush. Push out fabulous. And minty. minty. You don't need that. Toothpaste onto your brush. We don't need pretty either. We only really use adjectives like that in our story writing. In instructions, we need it to be really clear and precise. Let's read it again. Pick up Pick the up. toothbrush <laughs> and put some toothpaste onto your brush. Pick up the toothbrush and put some toothpaste onto your brush. Brilliant. That sounds really clear now, Miss Oliver. What a great instruction. Okay, so instructions. Mrs. David, I think you're going to give me some instructions now and they have to be really clear so that I can follow them. Yes, Miss Oliver, what we're learning today is to understand that instructions need to be done in the correct order. So, I'm going to give you some instructions now for how to draw a house, but you need to do them in the right order. Are you ready? I am ready. Got okay. My pen. Please, could you draw a square for me first? That's brilliant. Well done. And on the top of your square, please put a triangle. Okay. Next, draw a rectangle rectangle at the bottom of your square in the middle. After that, can you put a rectangle on your triangle roof? A small rectangle at the top of your roof, at the, at the side. Oh, 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 I'm not sure that that instruction was that clear. And actually, Miss Oliver hasn't. I, I know that my instruction wasn't clear enough because Miss Oliver's made a mistake. Could you tell me that instruction again, please? Sure. This yeah. time, make it very clear. So okay, I'll try my best. On the on the right hand side of the triangle, please draw a small rectangle. That's much better, isn't it? It looks like a chimney now. It does look like a chimney. Um, at the side of each. At the side of the, uh, on the left hand side of the door 
on the right hand side of the door, please can you draw a small square in the middle. And could you repeat this further up nearer to the top of the square to make it look like four windows. Well done Miss Oliver, you followed my instructions really carefully to draw a house. So, as you can see, writing, giving instructions in the correct order is really, really important, otherwise they're not really going to be very good instructions. What I'd like you to do now for your job for today, children, is in a minute you will see that we have some muddled up instructions for brushing your teeth. I would like you, with your grown-up helping you, your grown-up could read them to you, to put these instructions into the correct order. You may want to print off the attachment we've sent and cut them up and just arrange them in the correct order or alternatively you could write each, you could have a look at them, read them through, put some numbers beside them and then write them into the correct order. If I read out the um, list of instructions and then at home you can be having a go and thinking about which come in which order, which instruction in which order. So put some toothpaste on your toothbrush, brush your tub Brush all your teeth. Turn on the water and wet your toothbrush. Wipe your mouth. Get your toothbrush. Spit out the toothpaste. They're really jumbled, aren't they? Well, I don't think you put some toothpaste on your toothbrush at the beginning. I think you'll be able to put them in the right order really quickly, children. You all know how to brush your teeth. You do it every day, and I think you're going to find this, this job okay. Have a good day.